final of the men's coxless four with Great Britain in the lane nearest to the camera, an event in which Britain have suffered so much disappointment in recent years. They finished fourth three times in a row. That's in two world championships and the intervening Olympic Games. The order here, furthest from the camera in lane one, West Germany, in two, Holland, in three, Australia, in four, East Germany, in five, New Zealand, and nearest to us in lane six, Great Britain. Chris Bay. So the favourites in this race are the, the hosts, Australia, with what is arguably one of the finest fours that we've seen in rowing for quite some time. Contains two world champions from their eight, which won the world championships in Nottingham in 1986. And it is a beautiful crew to watch. And I think they'll be the early leaders. And it's up to the British crew to try and hold on to them. The British form really is to, to try and stay with the leaders. They haven't shown an enormous sprint, sprint ability. Uh, it's a crew which has a lot of experience in it. In front of the British crew, we see Martin Cross, Evergreen. He's been racing for Britain since 1977, Olympic champion in Cox Wars in 84. There are the Australians, already beginning to pull out. Again, very long men, but a very good rowing, very easy flow, no apparent effort. This is the first time since 1978 that the World Championships have been held in the Southern Hemisphere. And it does, of course, give a much more decent chance to the teams from this part of the world, the Australians and the New Zealanders represented in this final. New Zealand in lane five, just inside Britain. It's the bow of the British boat. The New Zealanders are actually the bronze medal crew from last year, so the British, who was just squeezed out of the medals last year, will be very keen to keep in front of them. The crew to watch out for, probably the, the Dutch, who've had a very good season in Europe and who are capable of rowing a very fast last quarter. We've seen that several times. The Australians came to Europe and won the regatta at Lucerne, squeezing out the Dutch. So they've shown good form wherever they've been. Australia then lead at the halfway mark with Great Britain in second and East Germany in third. We've in fact got the first three from the Lucerne regatta in this final. Australia, Holland and East Germany. But maybe Lucerne isn't quite the guide this year that it usually is because of the big gap between uh, July in Lucerne and November in Tasmania. So the East Germans well back at this stage. They're the, the world champions, but haven't been looking as good this year as in previous years. And Great Britain doing very well, hanging in there, right up with the Australians at this point. It's really a question of whether they can maintain this pace. The Australians certainly looking formidable. Out in front by almost a length. And Great Britain at the moment in the silver medal position. A good strong tailwind blowing these crews along today. It certainly helps the good technique shown by the Australians. They're able to row very well on the tailwind. British four still there, sitting well up in second place, being able to watch the contenders for third place behind them. The Australians were heat winners in about five minutes, 56 seconds, some three or four seconds faster than the East Germans who won the other heat and they look set to confirm that for. Complete change of personnel by the Australians since they failed to reach the final last year. And now heading for gold with 250 metres to go. Yes, and although the Australians have still got a length on the field, the British are still in there. Good pace, the Australians have increased their pace, the British are still holding on. Holland in lane two, coming through on the far side at the top of that picture, but it's still Australia have come towards the finish. They're going to be the gold medalists, but there's a scrap going on for silver and bronze. Holland are in it, East Germany are in it, Great Britain are in it. Quite naturally, the home country staying with the home entry. Australia, who are going to take the gold. Here's the British bow nearest to the camera, but it is going to be very tight. That's Australia coming in first. Holland on the far side in second. East Germany third and Great Britain fourth. And that's four years in a row that Great Britain have finished fourth. And poor Peter Mulcairins has been in every one of those boats. Yes, that would be a great disappointment for the British Four. They really did appear to do everything right. They hung in on the Australians and kept going all the way and just got run out in the last 200 metres. They dropped nearly four seconds in that last 500, which actually is rather a lot. 5.52.2 is a world best time, no records in rowing, but phenomenally fast by the Australians.